it is October 6, 2022. Oh my god, this piece of hair. I don't have any body pins with me. Um, I'm outside. Oh my god, he's starting to car up. So Rex is in there making a like MTV Cribs but for a car because the Audi, he's obsessed. And yeah, so we're waiting to check out of the hotel. So this is day two of our road trip. Um, yeah, so we're gonna tackle Pittsburgh today and then we're gonna head to Philadelphia tonight. The hotel wasn't bad. The water pressure was awful, so my hair has to be in braids because literally it, it's just destroying my hair. So, I'm not gonna have a good hair day today. Here we got the nice 2021 Q5. Can't beat it. Now this is pure luxury. Just listen to this chirp when you lock the door. Yes, sir. Pop up the trunk, see what we got in here. Two whole suitcases, a long board, a penny board, and so much more room for activities. And you wanna close it? Just the click of a button. Absolutely insane. Come around to the passenger side. Look at all this room. Why don't you hop in there, Rachel? Look, you already know, push to start like a dream. You got a sunroof, goes all the way back, and it even opens up so you could climb on out. Now take a look at this, you got your light system. Can't beat it. Just a, just a, a tap, just a, just a little whoop. Scrambling in the night, it's back on. Lights come on down here at night so you can see your little leggies. <laughs> Cannot beat it. You've got all kinds of system stuff, anything you're looking for. Yes, sir, it's on there. You can make phone calls, navigation system. Take a look at this driver assistance in there. Absolutely insane. The lines turn green on the side and it drives itself, I'm telling you, dog. The wheel starts turning when you're not even touching it. Absolutely insane. Mix that with the cruise control. I drove here without... <laughs> without an ounce of effort, all the way from Bowling Green. Absolutely insane. Check out the mirrors. Why don't you close your door and get a, get a look at that. Uh-oh. Tight spaces? Here I come. <laughs> Squeeze on in there. Yes, sir. You already know. Watch this, I put it in reverse real quick. With the little shifter knob. Backup cam, of course. Top-down camera, you out of your damn mind? Yes, sir. And then I'm gonna go ahead and flip it back into drive. Front camera, you kidding me? Beeping noises to tell you where the curb should be? Yes, sir. Throw it back in park. You already know, that is pure luxury. So we have made it to our first destination and it's this incline. I don't know how to Say pronounce it. it. I don't Say know. It. I don't know how to pronounce it, but we've made it here. Um it is bright as shit out here. Um there seems like there's nobody here, so which is great. Um I'm excited. We're just to get a city, I mean a view of the city. So we'll see how this goes. I feel like we're, to, we're going in a train station. I haven't seen any going. Oh, look okay. it. Okay, we just got on the incline little car. Oh my god. We got our own little car. Oh my god. I hope you don't get scared. I hope it's okay for you. This is exciting. Dude, why is it so shaky? Why is it shaking side to side like this? Incline. Oh. Oh, that ramp is gonna fall. <laughs> the door's not even closed. <laughs> it's okay. Look at the city of Pittsburgh. Oh my god, this is so cool. This is so cool. Are you doing all right? This is so exciting. Oh, yeah. 
I love this. I love being up in the air like this. So cool. We just passed the little incline. It's going down. Dude, this rickety ass shit. The door ain't even closed. The, the lamp is about to fall on your head to me. What the hell is going on here? Ice cream. We made it to the observation deck. I feel like I'm too short for this. Like, do you see this? You can barely see over. Okay, I think the sun kind of settled down. You can kind of see, there's there's downtown. Downtown, you can't tell if it's focused. I'm a little too short. Literally so bizarre. This is the wheel that turns the incline down the hill, I guess. So we're at these tiny ones up in here. Probably this guy. That's probably what that one is. Oh, it says 8 and 11, so now it's this. Yeah. This is nuts. Oh, there's the other one. Dang. Like, how do they, how do they, like, do this? second destination and that is the Andy Warhol Museum you can't really see it it just looks like a random old building look like much. <laughs> it really yeah it really doesn't look like much I can't vlog inside the museum because video is prohibited but I'm gonna try to sneak some clips in there um, so I'm vlogging out here because I won't be able to talk in there on video left the Andy Warhol Museum. Was not that impressed. I did sneak some video. Um, there's nobody around, which is great. And look at this bridge. Look at that. How cool is that? I also, Rachel. hold on. I just wrote, made my little mark Rachel. on the bridge. Oh my God, that's my bridge. You probably can't even see it, but look at that. It says my name. That's as much as I can zoom in. Yeah, your name, Rachel Carson. Okay. But yeah, I um, okay, see. I made my mark right here on the bridge, Andy Warhol Museum, not museum, Andy Warhol Bridge, and now we're about to walk across it. I would like to walk all down here and like up, but I feel like I'd get arrested. Oh my god, it's Braille. Okay. Rachel's a dumb broad. It says. Oh my god. I cannot believe you right now. We are in the car now. Um, on our way to the Big Mac Museum. Well, it's basically a McDonald's restaurant, but there's like, I guess a little, I don't think it's very big, but a little section for like museum type stuff in it. We pretty much left Pittsburgh. Um, we were like, yeah, we're out. I attempt to get the adult Happy Meals today. See if they're out. And then probably head to Philadelphia for our five hour drive. We are at the Big Mac Museum. Just the McDonald's restaurant with Big Mac Museum. But the sign over there says you get 20 piece chicken nuggets for literally $8. You see that? And a basket of fries. And then look at this. Look at this. The car freaking drives itself. Are you kidding me?
left the Big Mac Museum, they were also out of stock of the adult Happy Meals. Look at that wall this over there. This car drives itself. That's insane. Keep a tally. How many times is he going to say this? Because he said it way more off camera so far. Okay. My hair's a dumpster fire. Um, I just went to the bathroom and I saw how bad my hair looks. So now we have four and a half hour drive. So we get to Philadelphia. So we should, okay, estimated time, 6.59. Let's see what time we actually get there. <laughs> because last night, it was like almost 30 minutes after it was said we were supposed to get there. <laughs> Exactly one hour, one hour from Philadelphia. We are 500 miles on this trip. 500 <laughs> miles. in two days so far. Well, technically, within the 24 hour span, because we didn't leave. We, you yeah, know. that's worse. <laughs> literally, literally worse. Anyways, so yeah, we're almost to our destination 54 miles. 54 miles. 59 minutes until we are at our hotel in Philadelphia. Even and though it's 6.30 right now. We're supposed to lose daylight in two minutes. That's what they said the sun was setting. Yeah, we were also supposed to get to our destination at like 6.45. <laughs> oh yeah, you know, it was 6.55. And we're gonna reach our destination at 7.34. <laughs> I don't know Why how, I'm not even driving. Up? The car is driving. Why does it keep going up? Last time I saw it was 7.31. <laughs> There's no like bumper to bumper issues. You haven't missed a turn. We're still on the toll road. This so, car's yeah. been driving itself the whole time. Man. Sorry, I've heard that all day. So I've it's literally, insane. It's insane. I probably heard that 30 times just today alone. Just today alone. Right, just still drive. drives itself. It's incredible. Keep your hands on the road. Absolutely Keep incredible. your hands on the road. <laughs> hands on the road. Okay, let me <laughs> open the door. It starts scraping them against the ground. I mean the wheel the wheel keep your hands on the wheel we've almost made it through this drive and then we got two days in Philly so let's go on this adventure we're almost there by the time we get there it'll be dark Wawa that is the first one we've seen in Pennsylvania we'll be going to one at some point but Wawa okay hello I look completely different now um, I look slightly more tamed uh, I had to straighten my hair because my hair was a hot mess express um, it's still a little frizzy but it'll do it looks a lot better than what it did we made it to Philadelphia probably like an hour ago at this point um, made it to our hotel and now we're walking to the car because we're gonna take a little Walmart trip because I gotta get a few things um, and then we're gonna go to one of the, oh my god, Philly cheesesteak places. Seems like a normal cheesesteak. It's got nice pearls on This is the whole moment. This is the moment you've been waiting for. It smells good. Was it worth it driving all the way to Philadelphia? Bread is a little stiff. It's like almost like a chewy bread. Yeah. So this is the whole reason we came here. <laughs> the main reason. One out of ten. Is it the best Philly cheesesteak you've ever had? If you switch out the bread with 
I don't know, Penn Station maybe. And their cooked bread, that would be the best one. You're comparing this to Penn Station? Just the bread. I want the bread from Penn Station. Mm -hmm. Alright.